Hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial and in this one we're going to be covering how to work with the Essential Graphics templates. Alright so here we are in After Effects and what we want to do is we want to make this lower third that we have created into a template for Premiere. So here I have the lower third playing and I want to make it into a template. Now how do I do this? Well what I have to do is I have to open up my Essential Graphics panel and there's a few ways that you can do this. You could first go up to here and select Essential Graphics like this or you could select it up here under Window, Essential Graphics or you could also just click on your composition and right click and then select Open in Essential Graphics. Now in this panel over here you will see that I have the option to give my template a name so I'll call this Essential Graphics Template and then I'll put Kenneth at the end. And then notice under the primary, it has selected my composition. If you had more compositions, more options would appear down here. So I'll leave it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the solo supported properties right here. Notice that it opened up a few options down here. And these are all of the different uh, properties that we can add to our template that our editor in Premiere will be able to adjust or change to how he likes it. So we could say for this, we could add the source text. So you just click and drag it up here. All right, and also if I wanna change the name of my actual text in here, I can do that. I can just simply double click on this and I could say call this Kenneth. If I wanted to and if I clicked off notice it would change down here I will press though control Z to undo that or command Z if you're on a Mac and if you want to change the name of your actual property you can do that in here as well so we'll call this main text also notice that we have this edit properties on the right if I click on this I have a new panel that appears and here I can add more options for my editor to work with in Premiere so I will select the top three. I'll go ahead and press OK. And now notice that my text has a few more options to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a few more properties. So I will add the color right here. And notice that I'm grabbing this color and not the actual fill. If I try to grab just the fill, it won't work. You have to actually grab on the color where the keyframe uh, stopwatch is. So click on this and drag up. And then I will grab the opacity for this. And then for the transform of my text, I can say grab the scale. And I have other options like rotation and opacity. Now with the opacity, I'm not going to touch this because if I bring it up into my essential graphics, it's actually going to cancel my keyframes down here. So I'm going to leave my opacity alone. So when you have keyframes on a certain property, I recommend that you don't add them to your essential graphics template. All right, awesome. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these in a group. So go down to this add formatting and then select add group. And then I will give this the name of text. And then what you have to do is you have to grab these one by one and then just put them in to the folder. And also down here as well, if you wanted to add a comment, you could, so add comment. And you can give a comment here to your template. I'm gonna press delete though to delete this. So now the text is done. And what we're gonna do is we are going to close up the text right here. And then down here with my background or my rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a few properties to this. So. And we're good. And once again, if you wanted to change certain aspects of your graphic, you could just make your changes in here and notice how it changes. I'll set this back right there. So that's a basic overview of how to work with the template. All right, guys, so now we're gonna figure out how to export this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this up and I will select Export Motion Graphics Template. 
I'm going to save it. And then notice that this window pops up and it allows me to save it in a few different uh, destinations. I can save it in a local templates folder, which is the best because then uh, when I open it up in Premiere, I'm not going to have to search for it. If I save it in another place like my local drive, Premiere is going to make me search for the template before I can use it. So I like to leave this on local templates folder. And also notice that down here we have a few uh, compatibility warnings. So the first one is warning you if your template is using a font that isn't in Adobe Fonts. The second one is to warn the person if they need After Effects to actually work with this template. And then the third one is a warning if your type controls and After Effects cannot be edited with Premiere Pro's type tool. And then down here you can add keywords to your template so that it will be easier to find it in Premiere. So we can give a few keywords. We can call this AE Tutorial Template. Press OK. Notice that it verifies the Adobe fonts. So there it is. Now, where is this folder actually located that it was saved at? Well, if I go down here and I open this up, you will see that I have this folder called Motion Graphics Templates. I'm going to open this up and you will notice that my template is right here that I saved. And this is the path up here if you want to find it. Now when you get to this part of the path up here, you may not be able to find the app data. And that is because this is a hidden folder. So to see this, you have to go up to view right here. And then you're going to select hidden items. And then you will find the app data and you can follow the rest of the path. So I'm going to close this all up and now I'm going to jump into Premiere and we're going to actually use this uh, Essential Graphics template. All right, so now we've opened up Premiere and I'm going to jump into my graphics panel right here. Select graphics. And now notice that I have my templates right here. And now all you have to do is search for your template. So I will write in Kenneth. And that should bring it up. So there it is. You could have also added in your uh, keywords and it would have brought up your template as well. One other thing I want to show you guys as well is that if you click down here, you will be able to find your templates if you did not save them in the local area. Or if you just want to import a template that you downloaded online or that was given to you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this in just like that. Press keep existing settings. It brings it in. And if I play it now, I have this. So here's my template. And if I want to make changes to it, I can do that in here. So here we see that we have all of our different properties that we added in Premiere. So if I wanted to say change the text to something different, so like this, I could do that. I can make the stroke bigger or smaller or no stroke. Control Z to undo that. I could change the size of the text and so on. So that's how to bring in your template into Premiere. Now, what if you wanted to say, play this like this, and you wanted this middle part to be longer? because right now it's only a few seconds and then it goes out. Well, you could stretch this out like this, but then that's going to make your intro like really awkward and slow and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use something called responsive design. And we have a whole video on this, but I'll show you very quickly how to do it in this case right here. All right. So we've jumped back into after effects and now we're going to add the responsive design and I'm going to actually just close this up. I'll grab all of this and then I'll press U to open it all up. And what I need to do is I need to actually uh, make this first part and this last part protected regions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my composition right here. And then I'm going to go down to responsive design and I will select create intro like this. And whatever is in this blue area is going to be protected. So I'm going to go over to my last keyframe in the intro. And then I'm going to drag this blue part over to the end, just like that. 
then press shift to snap it. And I will do the same for over here. So go up to composition, responsive design, create outro though this time, and then grab this blue handle, bring it over here, and then drag this guy over to the last keyframe right here. And then this last bit of your composition, you can just grab this over and then go over here to the middle, right about here, and then right click and say trim comp to work area so that the last part is on this keyframe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to select export motion graphics template, press save, press OK, overwrite it, and I'm going to jump back into Premiere, just like this. And what you have to do is you actually have to bring in your template again, so delete this. And then go over to Browser. Here's my new template. Drag it in. Just like that. And then notice that if I was to stretch this out, select R to use the stretch tool. If I was to stretch this out, notice that it still comes in at the original speed. And it plays out at the original speed as well. And if I wanted to exaggerate this, I could. Still comes in, no change. And you can shorten this as well, so we'll make it even shorter. So yeah. It's shortened. Now when you shorten it, it's affected a little bit. You can tell that it's speeding up towards the end, but it's still usable. All right, so that's how you can work with the essential graphics in After Effects and Premiere. I hope that you learned a lot in this tutorial and we will see you in the next one. Until next time.